Hey everybody, Chris here at Ujoint. Today we're going to talk about the Spintech hub conversion and I'm going to show you guys how to assemble it. So we've been selling more of these hub conversions, especially on uh, late model RSC equipped vans once we figured out how to make the ABS and everything function properly. So we've got one side already assembled. We're going to assemble the other side right now and show you how to do it. All right, so the Spintech kit does come with instructions, but they're not the greatest, especially for the Ford. Uh, so this will help you guys assemble everything. So you can see we've already got our 35 spline stub shaft attached to the inner axle shaft with a fresh U-joint and everything's painted up. And now Steven is going to assemble what is the, uh, I'm assuming is a spindle seal, right? A little yes. spacer that's going on the axle shaft. And then we're gonna assemble the spindle. Uh, we paint these. Uh, once they come from Spintech, they are plated, so you don't have to paint them. But we paint the the uh, the new spindle before assembly. Seal gets pressed in on the back side of the spindle beforehand. Before you slide it all the way on. Okay. So there is the spindle assembly in. So we use these grade eight bolts from that we get from Fastenal, and there's a part number if you want to get them. But these spindles are set up to use the stock unit bearing mounting studs so you have an option there you can use that or you can get new bolts it's up to you we like the fresh bolts so they just screw in from the back side just like a unit bearing would have and i'm going to tighten those so now we're going to torque to 150 foot pounds all right, now it's time for the hub assembly. Uh, these Spintech hubs, they are plated, as I said earlier, so you don't need to paint them. And they come with the studs already pressed in. So we have packed the wheel bearings, got them installed with the seal, the uh, hub seal, and the dust seal. So now we're gonna put the hub on the spindle while also putting the outer bearing in. I'm gonna slide that on, and it's, now it's time for spindle nuts. All right, here are the spindle nuts. Uh, first one to go on is this one that's got the little dowel pin on it. We're going to put it on the spindle and torque it to 50 foot-pounds. All right, so we're going to torque that nut to 50 foot-pounds. This does require a special socket. They're available at pretty much all auto parts stores. So next up is the lock washer. So this is the trickiest part of the whole process, and I'll try to shine light in there. Uh, you see that keyway at the top of the spindle? You have to line that up with the keyway in this washer but you're also trying to line up your little dowel pin that I showed you earlier, which right, is right there at about seven o'clock. So Steven's gonna get it in, see if it lines up, and if it doesn't line up, he's gonna tighten the first spindle nut until it does. All right, so Steven got lucky. You can see here, the keyway's lined up and the dowel. Sorry, it's hard to get light in here to show this. I can only do so many things at once. So now the outer nut is gonna go on. He's gonna use the same socket He's gonna to torque that to 110 foot-pounds. All right, outer nut is torqued. You spin it just to make sure everything feels okay. And now we'll move on to the locking hubs. So here are the mile marker hubs that we use with the Spintech kit. And we've got them in place here on the table in order of install. So first is that, then you'll put this, um, I think they call this a spring clip. That goes in, then this guy, and then the cover with the bolts. Sometimes you can, what you can do is bend this out, bend this little tab out <clears throat> with a pair of uh, pliers. That'll make it easier to take out in the future. Now the snap ring is gonna go over the axle shaft. cover you can see you've got a little dowel pin there and that's gonna line up right there at 11 o'clock there it is there 
ABS wire is super simple, just bolts right into the spindle. All right, since we're here and the steering arm hasn't been installed, I don't think I've shown this in any videos in the past. Let me show you how we install the steering arms onto our machine steering knuckle. We have some long half inch bolts that we cut the heads off to use as alignment dowels to install the steering arm. We've already painted the bottom. We'll do a final paint on the top once it's in because it's getting ready to get a beaten with a hammer. arm is down. Now we're going to start installing some hardware. While we're waiting for paint to dry, we're going to show you how we route the ABS wires. In, in stock form, the ABS wire would come through here and then go through the dust shield and up. We route them around the front of the knuckle under the steering arm. So Steve is going to drill and tap the knuckle for a quarter 20 bolt and a little peak clamp. So there you go, finished product. That's how we route the ABS wires when the axles are equipped this way. All right, a little bit of red Loctite on these bolts, and we're just gonna screw them in and then torque them to 150. This is a part you definitely don't want coming off. So you can see the steering arm, it gets five bolts, five grade eight bolts to hold it down, and it's keyed. So super strong setup, and with a little bit of that red Loctite, they're not coming out. All right, final step, torquing the steering arm. So that's it. There's a Spintech hub install. They're gonna install the rotor and the caliper now. This axle got the SSBC calipers and rotor upgrade. That's an option. You don't have to do that with these, uh, with these hubs. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at ujoinoffroad.com. Be sure to check out our website and thanks for watching.